Hello, my name is Neil Stimler. I'm the president of Stimler Advantage, an executive management consulting firm, and also a exe consulting executive advisor at the Balboa Park Online Collaborative, which is based in San Diego, California. I've been a longtime participant in the Open Glam community, having worked with the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Cleveland Museum of Art, and the Smithsonian Institution on implementing and guiding them through their open access programs. The main benefits of Open Glam with the use of the most permissive and non-restrictive legal tools and licenses, such as Creative Commons Zero Public Domain Dedication and Attribution International licenses, and often without fee for usage in the user are, creative and novel uses of data and digital assets can occur and demonstrate the current value of collections in the present day. Views and usage of data and digital media assets, like high resolution two-dimensional images, 3D models, texts, scale exponentially across platforms beyond an institution's website. Glam institutions, brand and trademark, may have greater agency and value in building community, commercial, and content partnerships to produce new potentially mutually beneficial products and services. Open GLAM is a crucial approach to building open educational resources, or OERs, that can benefit learners and teachers as resources can be retained, remixed, revised, reused, and redistributed. These activities are known as the five R activities. Diversity, equity, accessibility, and inclusion can be supported by providing data and digital assets to users who can better access them through assistive technologies and by communities reinterpreting, remixing, and resituating the context of GLAM data and digital assets. With analytics and metrics infrastructure and tools such as online dashboards, open GLAM institutions can provide a direct and measurable impact of fulfilling their missions by the numbers to board members, donors, corporate sponsors, and the public. The, ma the main barriers to open GLAM are there is a need for ongoing, next generation, and rapid financial and labor investments in the digitization of quality data and digital assets in current and future asset classes. Digitization efforts should primarily be funded from earned revenue and operating budgets. Therefore, institutions should prioritize born digital, digitized, and open GLAM initiatives to be more sustainable and better serve constituents through asynchronous and on-demand access. A greater investment and focus on asset stewardship and development of digital collections is required for digital first experiences built on top of these core assets by institutions, independent content creators, and other third parties. There is a need to incorporate open GLAM initiatives into institutions as part of a holistic approach to organizational strategy to enhance business operations, increase public engagement, bolster partnerships, and drive revenue. Leadership for open GLAM initiatives must come at the executive and board levels, which themselves need to become involved in the process of understanding, providing support, and developing competency in digital first, metaverse, and open GLAM concepts. Open GLAM is core to the mission of institutions in the GLAM space and an absolute priority for those institutions to reach the people they want to serve. Without open GLAM, institutions will continue to struggle and reach their audiences. There is a false belief that open GLAM initiatives deter institutional participation and hinder revenue. This is a perceptual barrier that we need to break. Open GLAM programs increase engagement and can enable new types of revenue generation through collaboration, partnership, and new product development that supports the ongoing existence and service of the institution to its stakeholders. There is a false perception that open GLAM is a project and not an ongoing program that requires ongoing activation, financial and labor investments from the institution to be successful. Open GLAM is not a set it and forget it one-time initiative. Plan for the future of your Open GLAM program at launch and be prepared to devote regular resources, time, and people to its continual health and sustainability. There can be a misexpectation of how the impacts and results of Open GLAM work. 
there is typically a drop of engagement after launch. However, metrics will increase iteratively over time, as an institution will see a return on investment at milestones of six months to a year and significant growth within three to five years. There have been many sources of inspiration for my participation in the Open Glam communities, uh, including colleagues, friends, movement leaders, and partners. And I'm grateful to all of those who have opened my eyes and my mind to support Open Glam movements. I do have some personal messages to share about those hesitating to open up their collections with Open Glam. Open access is the most important initiative in a program that a Glam institution can do. Open Glam works. We already have the numbers to prove its impact with analytics across platforms, toppling billions of views and millions of downloads that have already surpassed the engagement possible by visiting physical institutions in person globally for multiple years. Open Glam institutions are more prepared and resilient than others to offer digital first and metaverse ready solutions to their constituents in the face of a challenging and uncertain world. If your institution has not started its Open Glam program, start today. Institutions need to urgently marshal the resources and people to move as quickly as possible into Open Glam and make prudent choices to support the engagement, use, and reuse of their collections and content now. Open Glam is fundamentally about the transformation of your organization and making those institutions platforms of possibility. Global experts are ready and able to help you begin your open access journey. So look to Creative Commons and the field of practitioners for help. They're standing by. Thank you.